Hi, Foothill Church, Courtney Davis here. It doesn't take but a few days or even a couple hours to realize that maybe the biggest problem is not the coronavirus. I'm quickly recognizing that the greatest evidence of brokenness is not outside of our homes, it's inside our homes and inside our hearts. A few weeks ago, my son, uh, Luke, who's six, had a major morning meltdown that made my husband and I late for our weekly Thursday morning coffee date. And while I was tempted to believe that parenting and discipline was getting in the way of our life, there was a sense that came over me that this was our life. And in the same way, being quarantined today, sheltering in place and social distancing, um, maybe that's not getting in the way of our life. This actually is our life in this season, and God is still at work redeeming brokenness in our hearts and in our homes. I'm grateful that the Lord continues to remind me of where we are in the story. That in the storyline of scripture, God's good created order was catastrophically affected by sin and brokenness, sickness, and death. But because of our Redeemer, Jesus Christ, we're invited to participate with God in his redemptive work as he restores our hearts and the world. So when we rightly understand the story, we know that the world is no more broken this week than it was three months or even six months ago. It's simply just more apparent. And God's redemptive work is always a response to brokenness. Psalm 118, 24, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the day. Today is another opportunity that God gives us to press into the truth of 1 Thessalonians 4, 3, that God's will for our life is our sanctification. What incredible and humbling thought it is to consider that God can do some remarkable things in this season. Will he restore homes? Will he fortify marriages and relationships? Will he raise up children to know Jesus and to trust in them more, in him more? Will workers be reestablished in their vision and purpose? Will creativity flourish? Will order be brought out of chaos? Will more hearts be turned toward God? Will we make gains in biblical literacy? Let's be a people, Foothill, who continue to be changed by the gospel and embrace today and our homes as the time and place that God is doing some of his best work. Let's partner with God in his redemptive work, approaching trials in this season as opportunities to press into his word and give him thanks. Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I love you, Foothill Church. Matt and Luke and Theo and I can't wait to be together with many of you soon.